You know, with time to make those years pass, you convince yourself that you don't miss your parents that strongly anymore, that you actually learn how to live away from them. And you live okay with this for years until you see them for the first time. And then it hits you that of those years passed and you didn't see them. Those were the ideas I was thinking when I hugged my father the first time after all those years. For my God. Shukran lila. Too much, too much, too much. Shukran lakum entum awuladi. Mama. Thank my God. وشكر كبير لريهام ولكل مين ساعد ريهام إنه جمعني فيها. My name is Riham al Kousa. I am a Reuters journalist based in Berlin. I am also a Syrian refugee. I fled my war torn country in 2014 without my family. As a journalist covering the biggest refugee crisis of the 21st century, I have reported about the waiting, the loneliness, the maze of the paperwork that torments a family reunification process. But this time, I'm telling my story. After I left Syria for Germany at age 23, my parents and I tried in vain to meet as dissidents of Palestinian refugees in Syria with no formal citizenship. Our chances were very slim. I was completely on my own, but at the same time I had so much support from so many friends, like German friends here. But at the same time, it was lonely. Weekends were always um, what, haunting me. I didn't want the weekend to come because I, in the weekend I would see that I was totally lonely. In the week I see people, I go to German class, I see friends, but weekends were so long for me. Migration has been one of the most decisive topics in Germany and in Europe. In 2015, German Chancellor Angela Merkel decided to open borders to more than one million people escaping war and persecution in the Middle East. Concerns about migration have fueled the rise of far-right parties across the continent and pushed European governments to shut their borders. Then I heard about a special resettlement program offered by Berlin's local government for Syrian and Iraqi families to reunite. To be eligible for the program, I had to demonstrate that I can take care of all financial expenses of my family members so they wouldn't end up being a drain on the system. The process was long, it was like an emotional roller coaster with every bump on the way becoming a potential closed door that could never open. Finally, more than six months after I applied for the resettlement, my parents were ready to fly to Germany. When I signed the papers for my youngest sister, I told the employee that, do you know that you are actually changing people's lives? And she said, why am I happy to do so? And uh, it does, it does change people's lives and gives them hope. Now, after five long years, we are a family once more. <laughs>